My name's Keely Miller. I'm a bassoon instructor with REW Music, and here are some bassoon tips on video for you to use to practice at home. When you're finished playing the bassoon, it's important to take it apart very carefully and make sure that you clean it appropriately after it's done playing. What you need to do is remove the reed and safely put it back in any reed case that you may have. It is important to have a safe place to keep your reeds so they will not break. Next, you remove the vocal. It is a good idea to periodically swab your vocal off with a silk towel. You rub it free of any fingerprints or grime. Then, the next thing you need to do is remove the bell from the instrument. Set the bell carefully aside while you remove the other parts. You will pull the mechanism up here so you can unlock the wing joint and the long joint from, each, or from one another. Excuse me. There we go. All right, and then you pull the wing joint very carefully from the boot, resting it gently against a surface next to the bell. Then you remove the long joint very gently, setting it down carefully. Now it's time to clean the parts of your bassoon. When doing this, it's important to know that there are only two parts that you actually need to swab out. Those are the wing joint and the boot. We will start with the wing joint. It is the most simple to swab. You will need a silk swab with a metal chain so you can pull it through gently. It's important for your swab to be relatively free of knots in its string. Gently guide the swab through the hole at the bottom of the wing joint. Then pull it out slowly without allowing it to stick inside the instrument. Now we will swab out the boot joint. By doing this, it will keep your boot dry and keep it from collecting condensation or any other kind of liquid at the bottom that could cause it to corrode. So we drop the swab very gently down into any one of the holes of the boot. When you feel it meet the bottom, you feed as much of the string as you can into the hole. Then, very carefully, you lift the boot and you give it a good shake. You wouldn't shake it around super hard or anything like that. Just a very gentle shake, kind of like a maraca. When you've given it a couple good shakes, go ahead and secure the swab string with your thumb and very carefully tip it. This may take a couple tries and if it doesn't come out right away, just try it again. Give it a couple more shakes and it may come through. You very gently pull the end of the swab through the opposite hole and lead the um, cloth very carefully through the bottom of the boot. And then you are done swabbing your instrument. It's important to go over the wood and lacquer of your instrument every so often. I recommend at least once a week if you are playing a great deal. I recommend a silk swab, which I use to clean off fingerprints and other smudges from my instrument. Thank you for watching these videos today. I hope you enjoyed them and learned something new about the bassoon. If you're interested in private lessons on the bassoon, contact REW and I hope to see you soon. Thanks.